Lake Victoria, northern Tanzania. Here, farming has been going on for centuries, leaving few mature trees, increasing the pressure on those remaining to provide fuel for cooking and firing bricks. It's the demand for bricks that's causing the greatest risk to the last remnants of forest and inspired the Mwanza Rural Housing Programme, MRHP, to develop alternative sources of fuel. In the past, there were these round, big houses uh, which were constructed of mud and poles. Later on, these houses could not be constructed anymore because there were no trees anymore. Also, the, the houses had no foundation. So with little storm or floods, the houses were falling down. Before MRHP, people, they used to rebuild their house sometime every year. Rebuilding their house, but they are using uh, this recorded muddy blocks. MRHP has been working with people to build more permanent homes for many years. But more recently, finding durable material to make the walls has been the biggest challenge. Traditionally, bricks were fired using wood fuel to make them durable. Yet with deforestation threatening their supply and wrecking the environment, they look for alternative sources of biomass using the agricultural waste from rice and cotton, the most common crops in the region. A specially designed kiln was developed to burn the new fuel efficiently and fire the mud into hard bricks. First the clay is prepared and as the local soil does not contain enough, different types are combined to get the right texture. Next, water is added and the mixture kneaded by foot until the right consistency is achieved. Then it's moulded into shape and left on a flat surface to dry. After drying for several days, the bricks make it into the kiln. The kiln is lit using dry grasses, but the important ingredient is the rice husk fuel. As the husks burn, their ash builds up, and as more are added from the top, the heat spreads throughout the entire kiln. The holes act as a chimney to suck up the air for more heat. Once the bricks have been fired, they are dismantled, and nothing remains but ash. Most of the people are coming here for making bricks so that they can get money. The other people, they have to come here to learn. Today we have two trainees from the other district. They have come here for how to make bricks, how to arrange the bricks into the kiln, how to fire it. After that, maybe they go back, then they start their own business. I've come a long way to learn this work. I didn't know it. I've learned how to make fired bricks and how to build a kiln. After I return home, I will start to build and burn bricks and sell them. The working shed is very important for making the bricks because during the rain season, when the rain comes, what you can do? MRHP helped us through training about this business and also they gave us loan and then by giving a loan, I managed to construct this shed so that I can produce my bricks throughout the year, whether it is rain season or dry season. Bricks is helping me because it, is, it, it pushes in my account, you know. <laughs> MRHP has shown many people how to make a living from bricks and the knowledge is spreading to distant areas so that even remote villages can take advantage of brick houses. The government has accepted our technology and they had accepted the product. And they knew that we are making bricks without uh, affecting the environment. The government's belief in these bricks has resulted in large investments in housing in this region, helping the many new brickmakers and their new business. The aim is to improve the habitat of the people from Mwanza region. And uh, housing is more than a, a structure. MRHP also has reforestation projects, use more fuel-efficient stoves, and promote solar energy. The brick-making business is producing a valuable income for many young people who would otherwise be jobless, and also enabling the rural people of Mwanza a chance to live in permanent homes. I wanted a permanent house. In my experience, every year the house falls down in the rainy season. I want a durable house so that I can relax for 10 or 20 years. 